Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've decided to move on a little bit from the property side of things just because I feel like I may have dragged into a little bit too long. If you have enjoyed it, that is fantastic. I'm really glad. But um, today we're just going to delve a bit more into the whole area of investment. So today my topic is about seven streams of income. Now this is a topic that many writers and people have spoken about and touched upon. But um, today I just thought it would be definitely worthwhile me speaking on this just because this whole idea of multiple streams of income is definitely something that drives my consciousness and behaviour towards money and, and investments in general. I'm going to dive straight into what these seven streams of income are traditionally or otherwise known as the seven income streams of millionaires so first of all you've got earned income which essentially comes from your salary job your second is profit income from you selling goods and services but at a more expensive price than it costs you to make them in the first place third you've got interest income so essentially like when you put money into a, an ISO account for example and the interest that is generated on that and then fourth you have rental income rental income comes from you renting up property on asset that you have and making money from that the fifth type is dividend income. Dividend income is basically what you get as a shareholder of a business, as a company. Number six, you've got capital gains income. Capital gains is essentially the profit or the increase in value of an asset that you have when you go on to sell it. So let's say you bought something for 200,000 and then by the time you go on to sell it, it's now 220,000 pounds. You've got 20,000 pounds worth of capital gains. The seventh is royalties income. So basically the money that you get from letting somebody use your asset. So for example, royalties from um, me as a youtuber for example using your track in my video so you'd get royalties from that right so the idea of seven streams of income it sounds a lot right and yeah it definitely is but not because you need to necessarily have your finger in every one of these seven types of income but basically because apart from the first type which is earned income the rest of them require you to be more creative and basically like put yourself out of your comfort zone to continue to develop your knowledge, learn, work on your skills, work on what you basically have to offer to people in order to get these other types of income coming in on a regular basis. So we all know that getting out of comfort zones is something that not everybody or a lot of people are too keen on. But at the end of the day, unless you step out of your comfort zone, you're never really going to be able to achieve that quality of life or the level of ideal comfortability that you a want. challenge nonetheless but this is definitely a feat that will be worthwhile for those who are focused on obtaining financial freedom for their life and being able to look back at the end of the days and saying you know what I live the quality of life that I wanted to live not being too focused on having to go to a you know nine to five or full-time job but being able to actually enjoy myself and do the things that I want while I have income coming in so these seven streams of income they'll either fall into the active or passive apart from the first one which is earned income the rest of them will fall into passive income category although some may require a little more work initially just to make sure that your investments are set up to um, successfully produce and grow for you there will essentially be passive income in the end Active income essentially when you're actually going out and giving work. time in return for um, a paid salary so essentially you get paid for the work that you do whereas passive income is the idea that you can make money while you sleep so you don't actively have to be working throughout the day to get this money coming in essentially you've got things that are set up that continue to bring in income for you because you've already set up the principles you set up everything that needs to be done and and the money is working for you so a good example of this is um, a rental income whereby you're renting an asset that you earn and generating money from that you're not having to do any work that money is just coming in because you've already got it set another up. type of passive income is selling online so a lot of people are doing this right now and that's a really big thing so there's this whole idea of selling goods on um, Shopify or Amazon or like just drop shipping essentially finding a good niche product something Something that is quite unique and maybe a bit quirky and selling it online and for some reason people are able to make seven figure salaries on doing this online so that's another good stream of passive income another one would be like investing in stocks shares bonds you know that kind of thing so I'm still looking into that myself because I am quite keen but at the same time it's not something that I'm too I'd say I'm naturally comfortable with but I definitely do want to get involved in investing in shares and things like that myself right so I feel like I've stressed enough the difference between active and passive income so if passive income is definitely the way you want to go if you want to obtain that financial freedom be free from the rat race be able to enjoy your life and have the quality of life that you want to have but at the same time your active income is also very important 
I would never advise anybody to leave their full-time job to go and pursue you know um, passive flows of income and you know side hustles and ventures like that because at the end of the day it's just not all that realistic yeah you need your full-time job to be able to sustain your standard of living being able to you know put clothes on your back you know have your home that you live in feed yourself essentially and then from that you can also take some bits of money that you can save to put towards investments yeah and start building up things that way your idea is that you use what you have as a foundation and you build up like that and so ideally one day you'll be able to let go of that active form of um, income and just focus on your more passive elements so your rental income your interest income dividend income royalties income you know all those other types of good passive income that you know we all like the sound of and we'd ideally want to have someday so now that we've spoken about the seven types of income the differences between active and passive income let's get a bit personal so myself how many of these different types of income do I currently so have? So I'm currently dabbling in four of the different types of income. So I've got my earned income, which is my nine to five job. And then I've got my rental income, which is coming from my um, my property that I've recently purchased. And then I've got interest income, the money that I've got in my ISA account. So it's small amounts of money, but at the end of the day, it's still some. And the fourth type will be capital gains at some point in future from the property that I'm currently renting out. So hopefully that property that I bought for £200,000, and when I do go on to sell it, it will be worth a lot more than that. And I will have some good capital gains from that. Another area of income I'm working on is profit income. So I currently sell services online a personal styling service to be precise it's called style republic so i have sort of put that in the back burner a little bit while i was working on other things but i'm definitely going to pick that up again and that will be the fifth type of income that i'm getting myself involved so in. definitely do show some love show support i'll put all the details in the description box if you're interested in a, a styling service or know anybody who may be interested in a styling service so in conclusion i've spoken a lot now about having several streams of income and the importance of them but at the end of the day if we're not able to keep ourselves motivated and persistent in pursuing these things it ain't gonna happen so i just thought i'd share with you guys some of the resources and materials that i use to help keep myself fired up and on the right path so ways that i keep myself motivated first of all reading books so so important so my current read is think and grow rich by napoleon hill so i won't lie to you i've had this book for a while now um i do actually need to finish it but i've gotten so sidetracked with other things going on but i'm definitely going to get back to it it's a great motivational book talks all about basically your mindset and how everything that you need to achieve things that you need to do all starts with you having the idea that you can do it and you can achieve it so definitely a book to read if you're not already um another one is rich dad poor dad i'm sure a lot of you guys have read it if you haven't definitely check it out um as well as books podcasts so the people that i listen to on podcasts are people like les brown he's a great motivational speaker um stephen james really good. he talks all about life being an entrepreneur um investment all those kind of things another person i listen to is jenna kutcher so she's great on the social media side of things um she's great at sort of like motivating people encouraging them giving ideas on how you can improve your online presence and ways you can get better as a you know digital entrepreneur as well as podcasts you obviously got youtube loads and loads of material on there as well as that you can get involved in online boards read articles on linkedin and medium there's so so many ways and resources out there to help you keep yourself fired up and all you need to do is tap into them and they're free as well well apart from if you're going to buy one of these books but yeah essentially the information is out there for you the um the the resources are out there for you so you just gotta use them to your advantage and get going get building get stacking and keep on your journey to financial freedom and i'm just gonna leave it there guys um hope you've enjoyed this video to continue on talking about the financial management type of thing um investment topics that kind of stuff i do find them helpful i definitely am enjoying speaking about investment just because it's so important to me and i feel that as a young person it's great to basically use my platform to encourage other people and to let them know that they can achieve things and do things that they really really want to do and that nothing is holding them back but themselves i hope you've enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you have subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll catch you in my next video bye